Best of the Best, 1989, directed by Robert Radler, is a classic martial arts drama that brings together themes of redemption, national pride, and personal sacrifice. Centered around a U.S. team preparing for a taekwondo competition against Korea, the film stars Eric Roberts, Philip Ree, and James Earl Jones. Known for its heartwarming moments and intense martial arts sequences, Best of the Best captures the essence of 80s action and drama, appealing to fans of underdog sports films. The film's martial arts sequences are grounded and emphasize the authenticity of Taekwondo, with impressive technique on display from the cast, especially Philip Ree, who is also a skilled martial artist. Unlike modern films that often rely on quick edits and elaborate choreography, Best of the Best focuses on traditional techniques and respects the sport's disciplined nature. The training scenes and climactic tournament fights are exhilarating yet realistic, capturing the grit and dedication required in martial arts. The film doesn't glamorize the fighting. Instead, it portrays martial arts as a character-building discipline, emphasizing control, respect, and perseverance. The acting performances bring depth to a simple plot, especially Eric Roberts as Alex Grady, who delivers an emotional portrayal of a single father fighting not just for glory, but for personal redemption. His role brings heart to the film, particularly in scenes where he reflects on his struggles and injuries. Philip Ree as Tommy Lee, a fighter with a tragic past, is quietly intense, bringing a sense of honor and internal conflict that grounds the film. James Earl Jones as coach Frank Cuso adds gravitas to the story, portraying a tough yet morally grounded leader who pushes his team to their limits. The cast delivers earnest performances, balancing the physical demands of their roles with the emotional stakes of the story. Best of the Best is built on themes of teamwork, sacrifice, and overcoming adversity. Each character faces personal challenges that go beyond the tournament, from injuries and family pressures to haunted memories of past losses. The film underscores the value of pushing through pain and fighting for something greater than oneself, whether it's family, country, or personal honor. The climactic scene between Tommy and his Korean rival, Dae Han, highlights forgiveness and redemption, emphasizing that true victory goes beyond medals and trophies. These themes of unity and personal growth resonate across generations and give the film lasting appeal. The plot follows five American fighters, each with different motivations, as they train for an international taekwondo competition against Korea. The narrative structure is straightforward, leading up to the climactic showdown, but the film takes time to explore the personal lives of its characters, adding depth to the story. The team dynamic and bonding moments are interwoven with intense training scenes, making the journey feel authentic and engaging. The story ultimately culminates in an emotional and action-packed finale, where the stakes are both physical and personal, giving the characters' victories and defeats a sense of real impact. For modern audiences, Best of the Best holds a nostalgic charm and continues to resonate as a classic sports drama. Its earnest portrayal of martial arts and focus on character development set it apart from contemporary action films, which often emphasize spectacle over substance. The film's themes of teamwork, resilience, and redemption remain relatable. And while the 80s style may feel dated to some, it contributes to the film's appeal for fans of retro action cinema. Best of the Best stands as a reminder of a time when martial arts films emphasized respect, honor, and emotional depth alongside physical prowess. In conclusion, Best of the Best, 1989, is a heartfelt and action-packed martial arts film that resonates with themes of sacrifice and unity. Its grounded portrayal of martial arts, combined with strong performances and emotional moments, makes it a compelling watch even decades later. For today's audiences, it's a nostalgic journey into an era when action films were driven by character and heart as much as by fights and thrills.